welcome to my channel. My name is Rashonda King. Thank you so much for joining me today. I got, I recently got a request to show a, a lady asked Roberta Willis. She asked if I can show how to do a three layer backdrop using crystal curtains. So I'm gonna start off with showing you two different ways that you can do three layers or add the crossbars to do three layers. Okay, here we go. So one way to create the double layers is to have three inch valance hangers. I have two sets. So I'm gonna um, put these here. Or let me just see if I can bring you closer. So you take the hanger, put one here, and then you take another one and you put it on the back side. And then you can add, a, you'll be able to add a crossbar here, here, and here. that I just showed you the lady that I took my mini draping class with she said that if she want a balanced weight this is how she does it so another option to add three layers is to use the nine inch balance hangers so I'm gonna set this up and then I'll take the camera in and let you see how this goes. to load my panels. So I'm starting with the third layer. I'm doing another layer of white because this is what I have in my living room. So I kind of pretty much just grab, I have some new 14 feet long white drapes and I'm just using these because I have some things packed for a wedding and I don't want to unpack those things. So I'm going to use these and then my top layer will be my um, crystal drapes. I happen to have some but they're kind of on the short side so I'm going to make that my first layer. So I now have two layers on um, a total of 10 panels. So now I'm going to make a pole cover with with one, with the same exact panel, panels, just like the panels that I have here. So I'm gonna make one pole cover for this side, one for this side, and I'm just gonna use a pipe cleaner. So I got my crystal curtains from JCPenney. They are, unfortunately, they are only seven feet long. So when you have panels that are shorter, you want to take those panels to your uprights. And you want to just attach them to the uprights. You can, uh, you kind of limit it on the designs because you don't want, want people to see them not touching the, the floor. So I'm just going to put these on one. And you will see what I'm talking about. are tangled so I'm, I'm gonna take some time and untangle them so here's a tip <laughs> I have these tied in two spots leave them tied and then put them on your crossbar and then once you get them on there and you lift it up take the ties off okay <laughs> Chanel stems doubled and then I have some single 
and I'm just about to gather that second layer to the middle and just do one big gathering here in the center. Try to center it. So that's what I'm about to do. So I'm trying to loosen this second one up some. stretch panels, the wrinkles are not just going to magically disappear. Um, I am going to steam them, but the one benefit to the four-way stretch is if you pull the fabric, you can pull the wrinkles out. So depending on the design you do, you don't have to deal with as many wrinkles, but it does wrinkle. I just thought when I got four-way stretch that there was not going to be any wrinkles whatsoever. Okay, so I'm going to steam it, then I'll come back and show you how I... Um, grab the beads or gather the beads um, at my uprights. So before I do the steam, I'm going to work at tucking my fabric. I have a lot of extra fabric because it is 14 feet long. So and my cellars only go to almost 8 feet. So I got a lot of extra fabric. Let's we'll see if I can roll it. I, I see a spot here on the pole that I'm going to gather these beads to and I'm just going to make sure it creates like a swoop. So while in my hands, I'm just going to kind of um, create a swoop. And I made sure I had half of them. So I'm just trying to loosen it up as much as possible. Oops, lost that one. But because they're short, I'm not gonna be able to play with them too much. And then I'm gonna just try to adjust it. Um, even though I put the pipe cleaner on, I'm gonna still try to adjust and have them hanging nice and neat. So um, for the crystal curtains, I had to undo the pipe cleaners and kind of loosen it up and give it the shape that I wanted. And I kind of wanted the strands to go in order. Um, like if this one was, since this one is first, I didn't want them to crisscross or overlap like that. Now for the center, I just got a sequin napkin and just folded it and I used cassage pins to secure this here in the middle. Roberta, I hope this tutorial was useful, so please let me know in the comments below if this was a help for you. And if you have any more questions, feel free to leave them below, and that's to everyone, anyone. Um, I'm still learning the draping, and I am gonna get some training under Precious Stevens. She's coming to Detroit, so I'm gonna attend one of her draping classes and get a little bit, get some more training. And cause like I'm doing things, but I'm not that sure about how to do it or the proper way to do it. So um, I'm gonna list and link everything below. So please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I thank you so much for joining me today. Until I see you next time.